announced to cut 10,000 jobs this week. This is so sad, noting that it's coming in at a time where uh, Meta and, of course, uh, Mark, that's uh, Elon Musk, sorry, also sack many people from their various positions. And many were asking that what does this mean to the, the workforce there in America? Amazon, this time around, has announced that they are going to cut over 10,000 jobs this week amidst uh, slow sales and concern about their economic downturn. Yes, the reduction could affect thousands of office jobs at the company's device and e-commerce division. Noting that uh, Karine Wase, a correspondent of the New York Times, spoke to News R. She said, she, she said that she said, sorry. 10,000 people is a lot of people, but Amazon is enormous. It's about 3% of their corporate workforce, but just less than 1% of their global workforce. And Amazon joins a stream of other tech companies that have announced job cuts, including Meta, who's own, that's, who is the owner of Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. And uh, Twitter, recently acquired by Elon Musk, also cut their, their, their workforce. She noted some of the growth driven by the pandemic hits, some underlining problems with the businesses, says the journalist. There was a huge surge in online shopping, but the surge was not quite as big or sustained. This means that there were ways in Amazon. That's, uh, this means that ways in which Amazon had overexpanded and overextended itself and was overstaffed in some cases. Reason why they are quitting or they are cutting some of their workforce. They have overexpanded and as well they it increased to overstaffing. So please this is really a sad news, yeah? Because if Meta is actually sacking some workers, reducing employees, and uh, Elon Musk just acquired Twitter and is also reducing workforce. And now, this time around, Amazon is doing the same. It means it's a very sad news. But then, we look forward that in the days ahead, there will be an increase in their sales so that these workers can come back because I know it's going to mean a lot. Even if they're going to put them on maybe a compensation salary or not do anything now. No, I mean, 10,000 people going back home without no jobs. And uh, it's huge. <laughs> that article brings us to the end of today's edition of our live newscast. And we say thank you so much for watching. Wherever you're watching, thank you so much. We say thank you so much. Please do well to follow us on our YouTube channel for more updates, which is at CMTV Boss. Do well to like, share, and of course, subscribe to that channel. We say thank you to Madam Christian Nabila, who gave us uh, technical support. Thank you to Mr. Fozo Oliver, who assisted us technically. And of course, General Supervision came in from Bobe Kwan Chamba. For presentation, I was gracious, very nice. We'll meet again. Stay tuned.